Hi, it's Ed Butowski. So the S&P 500 is near its new all-time high. And I love it when the headlines you know, take over and they say stock market at all-time high, stock market at all-time high. And I like to dig in a little bit because there's always a little bit more to the story than just that headline. So watch this. Bear with me one moment while I pull this up. So the first thing I want to point out is right over here, and I'm, I'll see if I can make this a little bit bigger. I don't know if I can or not. But see it says here, percent of index. So Microsoft, because of its market cap, and that means you take the number of shares outstanding that it has, multiply it times its price, and that's the market capitalization. And on the S&P 500, it's a weighted index. It's a weighted index. So if you're a bigger company, you're going to then, if you, your stock moves up a point, you're going to have more of an impact positively on the market. If you are a big company and you go down, you're going to have a big impact on that index going down. So the bigger, the more impact you're going to have. Well, Microsoft is 4.28%. Apple, pretty close, 4.17%. Then Amazon, then Facebook. Think about that. Right here, four companies all technology companies have a huge impact on the direction of the S&P 500. Not to the direction, but, but how much it goes up. And as you, you, know, you jump over Berkshire Hathaway for a second, you see then down here Alphabet. Well, that actually, because they've broken it up into two, that actually, meaning Google, has even the biggest. It's over 7%, about 7.3%. So as technology goes, goes the index itself. Now, let me share with you the numbers close that. I apologize. Happy birthday, Tony. So over here to the left, it says highest contribution for year to date. Apple has, is up 58% this year. And because of its weighted index, it represents 7% of the move in the S&P. So if the S&P is up 20%, 7% of that is Apple. 6.3% is Microsoft. About three is Facebook. Then you come down here, you can see that you know, Google's only up 22 and 20, so call it 21%. So it doesn't attribute as much. But you can see the point that there are certain companies that are making a huge impact on this index. And there are some that are not making as big an index, uh, uh, impact. And here on the monthly, just the month of October, um, through that you can see 24.32% is just Apple. And the financial stocks are doing pretty well too. But when you're evaluating this, and the reason I wanted to share this with you is that if you're managing your money properly, you don't have it all in technology, you don't have it all in financials, all right, because you've got to watch for that risk. So don't get too upset with your financial advisor if they're not matching that, okay, because you've got to look at the risk associated with each one of those, which is pretty dramatic. So just a thought. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.